Hi everyone, in this video we would be learning about builder design pattern which is one of the creational design pattern. So in order to learn this, we'll try to answer certain questions. So the first one is what is a builder design pattern? Then we'll see when do we use builder design pattern? We'll also try to answer what will happen if we don't use builder design pattern where it is actually required. And finally we'll implement the builder design pattern. Okay, so in order to answer all those questions, let's check out one example. So we all might have used Gmail in our life in order to send emails, isn't it? So this is how the interface of Gmail looks like for sending the emails. You enter the recipient's email ID over here. You can enter the subject over here and the body over here. Further, you can also insert or add the attachments over here. Okay. And you can add the CC and BCC. Okay. So after adding all the details that you want, you click on the send button. Once you click on the send button, the email object would be created, which would look something like this. Okay, so these are the six attributes to subject, body, attachment, CC and BCC. The one thing that I want to highlight is, have you ever seen that once you click on the send button, you are able to modify the email which is already sent? No, right? So that's what, once you click on the send button, the email object that would be created would not be an ordinary email object. Instead, it would be immutable email object. Okay. So, we would be creating one immutable email object. So, coming to the reasons of using builder design pattern is, the first reason is, whenever we want to create a complex object, we use builder design pattern. Okay. I'll uh, make you understand this complex object and this step by step in the code section. Don't worry. But uh, right now, let's uh, move on. The second point is whenever you need to create immutable object, then also you can use builder design pattern. So this is the second reason to use builder design pattern. Okay. The main reason to use builder design pattern is, is this first point. That is creating one complex object step by step. And the second reason is optional. Like it is not compulsory. But in our case, in our case, the email object is immutable, right? So in our case, we'll, uh, uh, we need this uh, immutable object. So we'll use builder design pattern for immutable object as well. Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll assume that we don't know builder design pattern and we'll try to code this email object that is this immutable email object and we'll see what all problems we are facing and finally we'll eliminate those problems using builder design pattern okay so let's check out the code section so i have created the immutable email class by making all the attributes as private so that no one can modify the attributes once this email object is created. Okay. And I have also not used setters because setters can also be used to modify this attributes, right? So I don't have any setters for this class. I just have getters. Okay. So now this class is immutable. Because none of the attributes can be modified once the object is created. So without builder design pattern, we were able to create immutable email class, right? Then what's the use of builder design pattern over here? The use of builder design pattern over here is because the email class that we are seeing over here is a complex class. By complex class, I mean that a class which has lots of attributes. Currently, there are six attributes. 
and we are not sure how many attributes are required while creating the object of email class okay let me explain this properly in the main class itself so over here i am creating the object of email class and i just need this three attributes to subject and body i don't need cc bc and attachments okay so so i have passed null values for these three attributes but for a moment just assume that our email class had 50 attributes okay for a moment let's assume that our email class has 50 attributes and we only need three attributes so remaining 47 attributes for remaining 47 attributes we have to pass null values like this isn't it and do you think that this is a good approach do you think that this looks good no right obviously not so so this is the first drawback of complex classes that is we have to pass lots of null values in order to create the email object okay coming to the second drawback second drawback is uh, let's say you might say that shub instead of uh, having a constructor which will take all the attributes why don't we create a constructor which will take this three attributes only because we just want this three attributes right okay so let's make one constructor for that case as well done so now we don't need to pass more attributes like this okay it is not showing any error because we have one constructor which will take this three attributes but now let's say let's say day after tomorrow you would again come to me and tell me that we need this three attributes plus we also need one attachment because i want to attach some attachments in the mail so can you please create the email for uh, create the constructor for that okay so let's do that so for first three attributes are required and one attachment attribute is required so i have successfully created one more constructor now after two days you will again come to me and say that now i require this three attributes and cc as well so again you will tell me to create one constructor right so let's do that as well done now again you will come to me and say that i want one constructor that has two subject body cc and attachments so again let's create one more constructor now this thing will keep on going okay and the total number of constructors that we can make is 2 to the power 6 which is 64 why to do the power 6 because there are six attributes and each attribute has two options that is to be present in the constructor or to be absent in the constructor for example this attachment is absent in this first constructor okay so we can have 64 constructors now do you think that we should create this 64 constructors in order to meet different user demand because some user might prefer to just have this two subject and body but other user can opt for two subject body and cc whereas some other user might want attachments as well right so i won't be creating 64 constructors to meet different user demands so that is the second drawback that is we have constructor explosion so when we have high number of constructors that is what is called constructor explosion so the complex classes okay this drawbacks are for complex classes so the complex classes has this two drawbacks and because of this two drawbacks we have to use builder design pattern because builder design pattern eliminates this two drawbacks so now let's use the builder design pattern so that we can overcome this drawbacks so the first thing is let's remove all the constructors that we have made till now
डन नाउ विल इंट्रोड्यूस वन कंस्ट्रक्टर विच विल हैव द बिल्डर एज द पैरामीटर लेट मी शो यू दैट सो दिस इज दैट कंस्ट्रक्टर वेर द पैरामीटर इज द बिल्डर एंड दिस बिल्डर इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल टू इनिशलाइज ऑल द एट्रीब्यूट्स ऑफ दिस ई मेल क्लास सो लेट सी द बिल्डर ई मेल बिल्डर क्लास सो ई मेल बिल्डर क्लास विल ऑल्सो हैव दिस एट्रीब्यूट्स द सेम एट्रीब्यूट्स विच आर प्रेजेंट इन द ई मेल क्लास ओके एंड इट विल ऑल्सो हैव द गेटर्स बट द टू एडिशनल थिंग्स दिस ई मेल बिल्डर क्लास हैज इज फर्स्ट इज सेटर ओके इट हैज सेटर्स वाई डू इट हैव सेटर्स बिकॉज इट हैज नो कंस्टेंट ऑफ इम्यूटेबिलिटी we wanted to create this email class as immutable but email builder class has no such constraint okay so that's the reason why we have setters for email builder and the second thing is it also has this build function for a moment let's uh, get rid of this so this build function will create one email object okay and while creating the email object it will pass this instance of this email builder okay so using this keyword we are passing the instance of email builder and finally we are transferring this values that we have assigned using the setters to this email class using this constructor okay so now let's see the main class so in the main class what i have done is i have created the email builder object and in the email builder i am using this setters like this to set the attributes for example in order to set this to i am using set to function then i am setting set subject then i am setting the body and so on and so forth so this way i am assigning the values to the attributes step by step so that is what i meant initially by step by step creation okay that is we are creating this email object step by step one step at a time okay and finally when we are done with all the values we will call this build function which will create the email object for us and this email object is immutable email object because it does not have any setters and all the attributes are private okay so until and unless we call this build function we will just have the access to builder once we call the build function we will have the email object okay so now i hope you understood why do we require builder design pattern so if i have to summarize so builder design pattern is required for creating complex objects complex objects um means it uh, any object which has lots of attributes and we are not sure how many attributes are needed while creating that object and we want to create that object step by step because we have to overcome this drawbacks okay and the added advantage of the builder design pattern is we can get the immutability as you can see over here the email object that is created is immutable because it does not have setters and attributes are private okay so i hope you understood builder design pattern and i also want to show you one more thing that is already present in the java so there is something called a string builder and let's create the string builder first so i have created one object of string builder and in that object we can keep on calling different methods for example append okay so let's say i assign the attributes ccc in the using this append function so this append function is uh, similar to the setters like this okay and finally we can also call two string method this two string method is similar to the build function this build function was used to create immutable email object 
right similarly this to string function is used to create immutable string object like this this string object is uh, immutable because it does not have any setters also you you cannot append anything as you can see it does not have any append method as well so i hope you understood everything regarding builder design pattern if you did please like the video subscribe to the channel thanks a lot for watching